Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we will talk about QDE scope. What is QDE scope and why do we use it? Local scopes allow us to define common sets of constraints that we may easily reuse throughout our application. For example, we may need to frequently retrieve all implies that are just joined. We will start by taking a small example. For this, let's create the function public function QScope. And here we will use user model. We will get the last registered user information. Who was the last user who registered in our database? Just like get the information of an employee who just joined the company. Now let's check this. And here is the data. Let's check attributes. So here is the information. At this moment, we have just only two records in users table. So now let's understand about the QE scope. So open the user model. Here it is. To define a scope prefix and allocant model method with scope public function and we will start this function name by scope and then our function name and then we will use this parameter query and then we will return this that we created in our method so we will return this using query object so that's how we create our query scope let's copy this and this will be our method name now let's refresh and here's the data just like we call it in controller Let's take another example and this example will include joins of different table. In this example, we will get the information of user who was not only the last user but also the activated last user. For this, we will include this DB. db table users and select user dot static means select all the fields of users table and join this activations table and how can we join the table we will use users dot id that match this id to this activations dot user id so these two IDs are same. And then we will include a condition activations dot completed add order by descending. And then we will get the first record. And when we refresh, we have this not found. It means that hmm, support. This this must be support, not support. So now let's check again. Table or view not found. It means that I have written wrong table name. And this is users, not user. So here is the information of the last activated user who was the last user who activated the account 
Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this, then subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye-bye.